Becky Wagner, and this is the second video in my Oakwood Poncho tutorial video series. The first video, linked in the description below, gives instructions with how to work the brioche stitch. This video focuses on how to work the short rows for the poncho's right side front. We will begin where the last video left off with short row 1, a wrong side row. Work the slip 1 yarn over, brioche knit repeats 8 times. You'll work to one stitch before the stitch marker, which is also the stitch you'll wrap for the wrap and turn technique. To perform the wrap and turn, bring yarn to front and slip the next stitch purlwise. Then move yarn to back of work and turn your work. Your yarn will be at the front now. Next, slip the wrapped stitch to your right needle purlwise and keep the yarn in front. And that is the wrap and turn. Now begin short row two with the first slip one yarn over stitch. So, with the yarn still in front, begin the slip one yarn over brioche knit repeats. This means that after you turn your work for the wrap and turn, you will have two slip stitches right next to each other. Work the slip one yarn over brioche knit repeats to the end of the row, eight times total. Now on row two, a wrong side row, work the slip one yarn over brioche knit repeats eight times until you reach one stitch before the stitch marker. Now let's work the wrapped yarn. First find the wrapped yarn which is wrapped around the stitch before the marker. Pick up that wrapped yarn and place it on the left needle. Then work the wrapped stitch and wrapped yarn together as if you're working a purl two together. To hide the wrapped yarn, slip the wrapped yarn to the right needle. Then slip the wrapped stitch to the right needle. With your left needle, go through what looks like the back loop of both of those stitches and slip it to the left needle. And then essentially, purl those two together. And that will hide your wrapped yarn on the right side front. Let's look at that again. To work the wrapped yarn as it is written in the pattern, bring the yarn to front, lift the wrapped yarn to left needle, and work the wrapped yarn and wrap stitch together as if to purl two together. To hide the wrapped yarn, slip the wrapped yarn to the right needle. Then slip the wrap stitch to the right needle. With your left needle, go through what looks like the back loop of both of those stitches and slip it to the left needle. And then essentially, purl those two together. And now, purl to the end of the row. And there you go. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me through this YouTube channel or through my uh, blog, NikkiWagnerKnits.wordpress.com. You can find more information and more of my designs there.